Welcome back. I'm Retro Bucky, and you know there are many amazing RPG games, all unique in their own way, and today we're going to look at five of my personal favorites on the NES. I give you my heart. If you want to win a free top loader to play all your favorite NES games on, stay tuned to the end to find out how you can win. If you're just getting into retro gaming, this is a great place to start. One thing that I look for in an RPG game is an open world concept. And needing the use of maps to mark secret locations or to chart a course to the open sea. Relying on your experience from past failures and discoveries and insight from the great elders of the Nintendo hotline or maybe some vague tips from an old dusty tomb of the Nintendo Power magazine. And with that being said, we come to number five, Pirates. Pirates is an open world game that is unique to every player. Whether you're a pirate seeking buried treasure, attacking ships and towns, pirate hunter, a privateer attacking rival countries, an adventure seeking his lost family, or if you just want to be a wealthy tradesman, the choice is yours. I much prefer being the pirate myself. Once you commandeer a ship, you go to on deck battle, facing off with the other captain one on one. Depending on the ability that you picked, you could pick the fencing like I did and cut him down pretty quickly, and then loot his ship for all the supplies and plunder in the world. This is like playing the game of life if it was set in the 1600s. There's no true end to this game except for retirement and it's based upon your wealth. Slowly your character will age and eventually your abilities will weaken but that's not stopping you from pirating to your old age or retiring into your golden years as a tradesman just to build your wealth and get away from all the violence. With a map in one hand and your journal in the other to track your progress, there's no doubt that this game is going to be sending you on an adventure. The Bard's Tale is my go-to for D&D style gaming, and I know Dungeons & Dragons have their own series of games, but nothing can compare for me to The Bard's Tale. Not that these games aren't any good, but the gameplay and the design just didn't interest me. And in my opinion, this is probably one of the better ones that they have. The Barge Tales graphics is just easier on the eyes, and the game is pretty easy to follow and understand how to play it. It's not too difficult to get the hang of this game. Even though it takes time to build up your characters, I mean it's a pretty fast paced game once you get going. It's no different than uh, spending some time at the beginning of Zelda to collect and gather all the stuff needed to make your gameplay easier. The only downfall is that this isn't a game you can just pick up and go. Like, you can pick up Legend of Zelda, start playing it. You may not get very far, but you can actually play it and enjoy it. This, you gotta dedicate time and patience to this game. Whether it's leveling up my character so I can acquire better skills or buy spells and better equipment, or if it's just simply trying to get ready to go dungeoning, I've put a lot of time and pain into my characters to make them true heroes. Next in the number three spot is Dragon Warrior. Dragon Warrior is pretty straightforward with this gameplay. You fight monsters to gain experience points to level up your characters, buy weapon upgrades, even if it's just a club to start off with.
I mean, 60 gold pieces is kind of steep for a dang club. And other than that, you just explore the world around you, defeating creatures, dungeoning, and ultimately defeating the Dragon Lord. Pretty simple concept and enjoyable to play, but if it wasn't for its appealing gameplay, it would have never made it to my favorites list. There's nothing I hate more than having to use a menu to accept and do everything from picking up these stupid items or even just to try to talk to somebody I have to pull up a menu it's annoying for the door too got in the stairs are you kidding me Next at number two, and this is probably no surprise this is on the list, Final Fantasy is probably one of the best RPG games ever made. Come on, oh thank god no menus. You play as four light warriors that you create, each carrying their own elemental orb that has been corrupted. You explore the world by foot, ship, canoe, and aircraft in search of four arch demons, defeating them to restore the orb and to stop the villain known as Chaos. It's similar to Dragon Warrior in some ways, but the world just seems so much bigger and plus, there's no stupid menu. Finally, we get to my number one, The Legend of Zelda. This game was designed for self-discovery. Even the map came with stickers to mark all these hidden locations and secrets. I mean, I end up just photocopying my map and just making detailed notes. It does the same job and it keeps my original map clean and pristine. Taking the time to make a detailed map is so much more rewarding. Especially if you compare it to using a guide or a walkthrough. You're being led around. You're not discovering things for yourself. I can't explain the feeling of discovering secrets and items and dungeons all on your own. Yeah, walkthroughs and guides may be easier, but it's not as rewarding. There's no better feeling than saying, yes, I beat this game with no help from a game genie or cheat codes or any emulator. All I did was just pop it in my system, charted out a map, and I succeeded. You know, even after defeating Ganon and beating this game, you still earn the hard one chance to play the second quest. And this isn't like Ghosts and Goblins, where it just repeats the same thing. No, some of the dungeons and items and secret locations that you found, they're completely randomized somewhere else. And you have to rediscover them as a legitimate second quest. Alright guys, if there's any games that I may have missed that's one of your favorites and you think should be added to this list, just comment down below which games those are. And maybe we'll check them out in the future. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, subscribe, hit the like button, and share this video. And if you want to win a free NES top loader to play all your favorite games on, subscribing automatically puts you in the raffle. Until next time, my friends, stay home, stay safe, and play games. Catch you later. I can't eat my heart.